Well, now on Netflix, a true crime documentary based on an investigation by Fox 59 News. Our Father is the story of former Indiana fertility doctor Donald Klein and how he used his own genetic material to inseminate his unsuspecting patients. Where we would plug names into ancestry and work on a family tree. We joked one day trying to figure it out and we're like, wouldn't it be crazy if it was the doctor? Jacoba Ballard and her dozens of siblings are all biological children of Dr. Klein, as they later learn. Jacoba contacted our Angela Ganot seven years ago, and Angela's investigation led straight to Dr. Klein. One of the truly shocking details of Dr. Klein's case is that he was never charged for deceiving his patients. He was only charged with obstruction of justice because Indiana didn't have a specific law to cover exactly what he did here. That's changed since Angela's investigation. And this evening, Fox 59 State House reporter is looking at what's being done to protect patients and what the victims still want to see done. So, Kristen, what are you learning here? Well, Berichelle and Dan, as you mentioned before, Indiana passed this legislation in 2019. It didn't have a law on the books specifically focused on fertility fraud. Although it sets up criminal and civil penalties for perpetrators, some believe the law falls short when it comes to providing victims justice. This has caused, uh, again, a lot of devastation to a lot of families. This man knows that devastation all too well. He's a victim of fertility fraud who asked us to remain anonymous. He says he's looked into taking legal action under Indiana's fertility fraud law, but says it doesn't apply to his case. And while it is uh, a great first step at prohibiting this type of conduct in the future, uh, it, it was not retroactive. Indiana's fertility fraud law, which was passed in 2019, makes misrepresentation related to a medical procedure or human reproductive material a level six felony. It also allows victims to file a civil lawsuit against a doctor within five years of discovering they're a victim of fertility fraud. Jody Madeira is an IU law professor who has studied fertility fraud and interviewed several of the victims of Dr. Donald Klein. There's a criminal law doctrine called ex post facto and it prohibits uh, prosecutors from charging um, a perpetrator with an uh, with a charge uh, which was not a crime actually when he committed it. State Senator Jack Sandlin was the leading author on the legislation. He's not ruling out potential changes in the future. When you pass a statute like that, I think that it's appropriate uh, you know, to continue to look at that. The victim I spoke with says he wants to see the law applied to more previous cases and the penalties heightened. He's working on new legislation in a nearby state and says he's spoken with Indiana lawmakers about changing the law here. I want to see that, that people who uh, have uh, engaged in this uh, egregious, horrific, uh, abhorrent conduct um, to be held responsible. Uh, whether that's criminally, whether that's civilly. Now, legal experts say most states don't have laws on fertility fraud. Some others, including Texas, Florida, and Colorado, have passed laws since Indiana's went into effect. Ohio and Illinois, meanwhile, have pending legislation. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Like we said, those laws only happened after Dr. Klein's case was brought to light. The legal questions are explored in that documentary, Our Father. Yeah, today Angela Gannot spoke with the director of that documentary about everything she wanted to cover in the project. It is heartbreaking when you read comments like, well, the women were desperate, they deserved a child. Uh, this is what they wanted. And I think it's a really interesting look at what consent means, and I hope that viewers step away from this with more empathy for these people. Again, the documentary debuted today on Netflix. Angela will share much more on the production and the investigation tomorrow morning on Fox 59 Morning News, including interviews with family members who've never before come forward. That's tomorrow at 8 a.m. on Fox 59 Morning News. And again, the documentary right now on Netflix.